All right. Last, but certainly not least, I don't really have to say much. Everybody knows who this guy is. Damien Hobgood. <laughs> All right, I don't have to say anything. All right, I'll, I'm going to shorten this so much because everybody knows about him. He had a great run in the amateurs. He won the uh, Benny Hooty division in the Easterns in 1991 that portended a great and wonderful career ahead of him from that early spot as a Benny Hooty. Number one in the East, uh, 95 East Coast NSA Junior Division ratings, placed third in the 1996 ISA World Surfing Games. That's against all the countries in the world. Damon competed in the 99 QS series, ending in fifth place, which launched him onto the Pro Tour in 2000. He had a ranking of number 25 and Rookie of the Year title. To round out his accomplishment in 2000, he and CJ became the first brothers to play simultaneously in the WCT Top 10. Damien is highly regarded as a barrel riding master. He's a monster. He searches for it. These guys, I was surfing, I think it was off the wall one day, and these two guys were surfing on this outside peak off a rock pile. And I asked somebody, I said, who are these guys out there? And they said, oh, that's the Hobgoods. They're out there all the time. And the, the waves out there were incredibly difficult because there wasn't very many that were makeable, and these guys were making them. So I'm going to end that with that. A phenomenal contest barrel riding results. The Quicksilver Pro in 2004 at Tavarua and the Globe PG, Fiji in 2006 and taking the 2007 Billabong Pro in Chopu, biggest barrels in the world. He's a master, Damien Hopkins. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for hanging in there. Sorry, I just, I just I don't know. Um, wow. Uh, well, thanks, Greg. No, I didn't even know that. Anyone else know that? I didn't know that. Um, so, you can't hear me? What about now? Okay. Um, yeah, I was, I was really thinking about this because uh, uh, it, it feels kind of weird. I, I, don't, I don't know. It was kind of hard to put a finger on it. But uh, I don't know, I really feel this, this, this inductee for me is uh, just a, a reflection of you guys, um, a reflection of the East Coast, a reflection of uh, pretty much so many people that have... Uh, instilled so many things in my life. Um, I think Cecil said it earlier, it's a, it is more than a tribe, it's a family over here. And um, you guys have taught me so much. Uh, and like, I, ho I hope, I hope I, uh, I reflected that um, because I, w I wouldn't be the man I am without you guys. Um, I got so many people that have just uh, help me along the way, and uh, I don't think no man can can do it on his own. He can't do it on his own, and he needs people, and he needs people like you guys um, to help him along this way. And uh, I really just wanted to uh, thank you guys, thank all of you. I mean, PT said earlier he puts me up in this house with pipe, sends me to Fiji, and and really just gives me the confidence to be like, you can do this. And, uh, and all of you guys have done that for me. And, uh, and so when, I, when I'm going to look at this trophy, that's, that's kind of what I, I'm just going to think about. I'm going to think about all the people that have instilled so many things into my life. And there's one other thing I'm going to think about. CJ, where are you? Probably not even here. Uh, but he was telling me earlier, I thought he'd already got inducted in here. I didn't even know. And... Uh, he starts revealing that he's like, you know what, damn, I think I thought I was in there, but no one could find my name. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. And uh, so I just kind of put the cherry on top of the whole thing. And, and I just... Uh, uh, yeah, I just, 
I just wanted to thank all you guys. I wanted to uh, thank you guys for helping me find uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to thank my wife down here. And, uh, so I appreciate it. Thank you.